It's so fun to be here tonight. Um, my poem is about my, some of my time on the Big Island of Hawaii, living on a live volcano. The moon rose and found herself engulfed in the red glow of fissure eight. She, Pele, was busy recreating the landscapes of Lower Puna. It was the spring of 2018 and the ground rumbled and shook and we looked upon cracks that gave way to spraying molten lava spewn from the Earth's core and running as rivers at our doorsteps, marching us out of the homes and hallways that held our hearts and all our belongings. We were evacuated off the lands that our hands had loved up and our feet had trodden. Few were pardoned, few were spared, as Tutu Paley shared her magnificent need to be seen and to clear and to clean a new path to the ocean. Though she was creating new shorelines to become new beaches, what was covered over and lost became costly layers of money and memories never to be repeated. We lost roads and access, we lost sacred places where we had prayed and played, and we lost schools and the rules of order became chaos and lost beyond our comprehension. Not to mention the exhaustion of being displaced. Day after day we watched our lives being erased. Day after day grieving and regrouping, day after day we had no control over where the flow would turn and what homes would burn. Our once familiar rainbow skies were replaced by a dark smelling haze that blocked the sun's rays from reaching us. And particles of glass called Pele's hair floated through the air and landed on all life surfaces as needles, posed for beauty and harm both. As you may see, I'm still in recovery, still discovering new tears to cry. The goodbyes still sting, and the remembering and the grieving still accompany all the new beginnings. Pele, powerful goddess of fire and passionate desire, dare I call you sister? Dare I call you family? Yes. Yes, you are the guest of transformation, the guest that changes and rearranges our trajectory. I accept what you bring with as much sacredness and honor as I have, and I bow my head and my heart, and I kneel to show my respect and offer my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for the purge and the lessons learned. For love prevails all trauma. And as the drama and the karma settle back into a more relaxed connection, my breath will always respect you. Thank you.